Hello friends, welcome to source care tutorials. I hope you liked my previous videos. So in today's video, I will make a simple impala with AutoCAD 2013. So let's start by making its base feature. I'll take circle command I'll make a circle of radius 20 units now go to 3d workspace and I'll extrude it two units for a better visibility I'll change it to shaded view now I will make another circle with same center and radius 4 units and another with radius 3.2 units now press pull this small region and give it a height of 30 units now union these two bodies if required After making this feature, I will make a simple line along this curve. But before making that, I will create a new layer. A new layer and name it line. Color this layer if you like. and make this layer active now select line and make a line of length 4 units I'll select line command again and I'll make another line of length 30 units which is equal to height of extrusion of the cylinder now I will divide this line into 8 different sections by using point command but before making that I will hide this object from drawing view to hide it go to layers and make layer containing that object off now we have only 2d profile left here Now again go to divide and select your object to divide enter 8 in number of divisions and press enter now this line is divided equally into 8 sections now we will make lines along this but before making that 
I will select this view make this view the current one the XY plane again go to line command and here is our first point make a line of length 2 units again press the space bar to repeat line command make another line of length 4 units and similarly repeat this process for consecutive lines with length in the multiple of 2 and our last line will be of length 16 units now to make this view appear clearly I will turn off grid now here we can see our 2D sketch now I will go to layer and make our 3D layer on once again Go to UCS, view face and select face to this. Make this face as current face. Now I will rotate all these lines with rotate command at angle of 6 degree each. But again, before making that, I'll have to turn this layer off so that I can see my drawing clearly, my 2D drawing clearly. Go to rotate, select a line, enter, select base point and specify angle as minus 6 degrees. Next, specify other angles in the multiple of 6 units. Now, here after making this rotation, you can see the 2D sketch. Now select spline spline and make a spline along end points of all these lines which we have made. Now you can see basic sketch of our propeller fin 
is almost ready. Now go to surface and select network. Select these sketches in one direction and press enter. Now select this and this one and press enter again. Once you press enter, the selected profile will be converted into a surface. Now we will attempt to make it a solid. We go to thicken and select your surface and press enter. Now apply a thickness of 0.3 units. You can see that this object is now converted into a solid with thickness 0.3 units. If you feel 0.3 unit is a little bit not sufficient, then change it to 0.5. Select it, press enter and change this value to 0.5. Now the thickness of this fin seems quite perfect. So go to layers and make this layer on. Now we can see our fin along with main body. Next, I'll go to polar array, select this fin, enter, specify base point and in number of items, write 16. You can select any number of pins you like, but according to this geometry, 16 seems perfect. So I have selected 16. You are free to select any number of pins. After completing this, close array. Now, Our impeller is almost ready. All we have to do is make some final adjustment to it. So before making those final adjustments, I will union all these body into a single entity. For that I will use union, select all these bodies and press enter. Wait for a while. And now this is completely a single body. Now select the space and make a rectangle. But before making this rectangle, you have to change the face. and make it xy plane. Now again I will make a rectangle just of any length but just take care that this rectangle should pass the length of the cylinder. Use extrude it on other side also now I will subtract these geometries select subtract your main geometry press enter and the subtracting geometry you can see that unwanted area has been removed. You can perform same operation to remove this unwanted area on this base cylinder. 
for that go to this view and make it current view make a circle of 19 radius now go to press pull and select this is a small region the small area that encloses this line and end of the cylinder select it and press pull it downwards once you press pull the geometry is cleaned it's actually removed our shaft is almost ready all we have to do is get rid of this 2d geometry for that you can simply move this 3d drawing to some other place and delete this geometry completely you can see our 3d impeller is complete thank you guys for being with me have a nice day